Howdy Brewers, today quick video on how what I think uh, is the best way to rehydrate dry yeast. Um, so I just use a, a one cup vessel, the little skewer in there is just to stir the yeast around, a bit of sanitised alfoil for the top, sanitised scissors, today I'm doing some European lager yeast which is 3470 and I also use a wee little bit of dextrose. Okay, so first thing I do is, so there's 15 grams of yeast in the packet, so you, you use 10 mils per 100 grams. Now I know it, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I like to make it right, so I weigh out 150 grams of water, Sprinkle the yeast on. I like to stir it in. You can leave it on top to rehydrate. I just find it rehydrates a little bit faster if you stir most of it in. You're right to leave the skewer in there. Okay, leave that for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. You can see that it's just starting to bubble a little bit. So we've got half a teaspoon of dextrose. Give that a little stir again. I forgot to mention before, the water I used um, was just out of the tap. Um, it, it's good enough for drinking, so it's good enough to get yeast rehydrated with. Um, and I, it, the temperature is pretty forgiving, so that water was about 24 degrees, and that's pretty good for a lager yeast as well. Okay. I'll come back in about 10 minutes and you'll see what it looks like ready to, ready to pitch. And so after another 10 minutes, you can see how bubbly that is. Yeast is activated. We can pitch that right into the wort. And that's what I'm about to do. So that's how I rehydrate my yeast and you can see that it's already active. So it's good to go. All right, uh, next time. Um, Happy brewing. Cheers, guys.